Hi, I welcome you all to this uh, tutorial on the IELTS speaking part. We are going to learn about some important points related to IELTS speaking and some strategies to develop our speaking skills to score high in the IELTS test. The most important point is that when we talk about speaking in English, we start thinking in terms of accent, vocabulary, and many technicalities related to the language. But speaking is more about expressing yourself in a simple and direct manner. You are not expected to showcase your uh, number of words, difficult words that you remember like Sharshi Tharoor. You are not supposed to use lots and lots of complex grammatical structures thinking that those would fetch you more marks. It's more about expressing yourself in the simplest possible way and practicing the right strategies to think and give words to your thoughts. So be natural, be calm, be humble, be attentive, and express yourself in the easiest possible way. It's taking a little while, so please bear with me. So, yeah, follow this sequence. First of all, understand the game, right? First few questions are for the purpose of introduction. So you will be asked questions related to your name, your city, what do you do, those kind of questions. Then it would be followed by a two-minute portion where you are, I mean, a cue card portion where you are supposed to, uh, you know, you will be given a card. And on that card, there will be certain bullet points. You are supposed to develop ideas around those bullet points and then speak in one to two minutes. So that's the cue card section. Then the next section is long answers questions, right? But these cue cards are from very, very, I mean, from day to day life. They are not uh, very uncommon kind of scenarios. Like, for example, tell us an experience of going to a mall. When did you go there? With whom did you go there? Why did you, what did you buy from it? Right? Why do generally people go to uh, a mall and, you know, um, tell us what you bought and why you bought from that mall itself? So, some general discussion. I'm just giving you, cooking this example for you. So, the questions asked in the cue card section are from day to day life. You are not supposed to have any specialized knowledge. Always remember, IELTS is not a test of English. IELTS is a test of how well you know the test. You definitely need to have a strong grounding in English, grammar, vocabulary, some basic ideas with regard to it. More than, but like once that foundation is there, don't have to prepare separately for IELTS in terms of developing your vocabulary or speaking in some foreign accent. You're supposed to speak in a very natural manner, we have participants who have scored up to nine bands in speaking. And I'm going to share some interviews of those participants here who scored nine bands in speaking. You'll find that their English is good. They speak grammatically correct English. But beyond that, it's not that they use some difficult or exotic vocabulary. They speak in very simple manner. And that makes all the difference. What is the evaluation criteria? How would you be evaluated on your speaking? So these are some of the points. First is fluency and coherence. Fluency doesn't mean speaking fast. Fluency means speaking consistently in an easy to understand manner. The next point is related to lexical resources or vocabulary, right? So again, you are not supposed to use any difficult words. You are supposed to use very basic vocabulary, right, pertinent to the topic you are speaking about. The next point is related to grammatical range and accuracy. Again, you are not supposed to use any grammatical structures to a great extent. One or two grammatical structures or to make complex or compound sentences are enough. For example, you may use one sentence starting with although. You may use whereas, right? You may use while in a sentence. While it is generally seen that students with uh, professional degrees get very good placements. We also see that those with general degrees or common degrees, non-professional degrees also get well placed 
if they are good in their own fields. So, you know, I'm using while or although. So those kind of sentences, but you don't have to use too many of the long sentences. Your pronunciation should be natural. It should not carry a certain accent. You should be speaking in a simple and direct manner. One good method of developing your speaking skills is to record your own voice and listen to it. You will see how confident you sound and you will also find out any flaws or slips here and there in your speaking. And yeah, that's one good way. The second is keep it simple and stupid. Do not try to elaborate. Do not try to make it complex. Always remember it's a test of English. It's not a test of your knowledge. So present yourself in a very in a very easy to understand manner. Create opportunities. Like for example, one of these participants was asked, do you like reading books? Do you like reading history books? And as a, her answer was, well, uh, in general, I don't like reading history, but then I'm a dentist and I'm interested to learn about the history of dentistry. And that's why I like to read history books related to uh, dental surgery and dental sciences. Now see, she has given an answer which is well-rounded. She created an opportunity for herself to speak. So that's important. You create an opportunity to showcase your English skills. You need not be absolutely honest. You can always cook up some stories. But yes, the point is you should create opportunities for yourself to showcase your English skills. Focus on content, not on words. Focus on what you want to say, not the words you want to speak. So it's not a test of vocabulary. It's about the way you express yourself in a simple and direct manner. Imitate strategies of performance. So I'm going to share some of the interviews of participants who have cleared with 88.5 bands in the recent past. All you have to do is go through the interviews and use the same strategies and practice, practice, practice. Speaking is spontaneous you can, you do not get a chance to think while speaking so you should have done enough practice this is one skill speaking and re writing actually which takes time to develop are you if you are already there you just have to understand the structure of the test and you would be ready but in case there are opportunities in grammar vocabulary for structuring your thoughts it is going to take some time so be patient with yourself practice enough to develop proficiency in speaking that's it. So this was the last tutorial in the series, a series of mini tutorials that I wanted to make for quick learning. The purpose of these tutorials is to make sure you are ready with, uh, ready to venture into the journey of doing IELTS. There are long detailed videos on every topic and I'll be giving you during the course. Like every single topic is very, uh, descriptively and very clearly explained so there are videos about them and you are going to get access to them but yes this particular presentation was just to get you started as i mentioned in earlier videos also it is a self-paced course we are not going to push you to finish a certain section at a certain time there are classes wherein we are going to have some specific discussions related to specific topics of uh, listening reading writing and speaking and that's it. But then you have to decide your pace and you have to learn based on your current level and when you want to take the IELTS test. So all the best to you. Keep learning. Keep improving yourselves. Wish you all success in your life. Thank you so much.